GM, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, PGV's Digital Fashion Podcast. In each episode, we will dive into conversation with pioneer and expertise in AI, digital fashion, NFT, and blockchain. I'm Isola Ijinzu, your guide through this exciting journey. Before we jump into today's episode, a quick reminder to subscribe our channel, put a like and share it. Your support really means a lot to us. And today we have a special guest with us, Emanuele J. Welcome! Hello, hello everyone. Hi Isra. Thank you very much for inviting me in this engaging conversation. Yes. Um, So let's start from your introduction. So Jen is a professional prompt designer, AI expert from Italy. He's also a speaker at Gen AI conference, processing a degree in fashion design and his expertise extending to generative AI. Thank you very much for inviting me in this engaging conversation. Can't wait to start. Can you tell us more about your background and how you come to work with AI? Of course, Mm -hmm. it's quite an uh, interesting story, really. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was, it was like one year, uh, one year ago, I was finishing my study in fashion uh, and uh, my journey into the world of AI began almost like a serendipitous adventure. I remember uh, stumbling upon an opportunity to become a beta tester for DALI from OpenAI. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was before its official release, uh, and uh, now being someone with a, a deep passion for innovation, you know, uh, I'm always on the lookout for new technologies, especially mm-hmm. when they are on the cutting edge and even better within reach. After submitting my application, um, I anxiously waited, uh, not knowing what to expect, you know, uh, open AI, this mm-hmm. big announcement. Uh, to my life, uh, a few weeks later, I received that golden email confirming my role as a beta tester. The thrill was real. Uh, it was a chance to explore and experiment with this groundbreaking technology before it reached the wider audience. You know, it, it was the start of AI, of Gen mm-hmm. AI. Yes. And as I delved into these capabilities of DALI, its potential, it had, was nothing short of exciting. However, it was a subsequent discovery, a project named Me Journey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that really sparked something within me. It was then that I realized that Gen AI were not just a tool, they were the future and I want to be part of. Mm-hmm. This That's realization, the end, this, this course of my journey into the realm of AI. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fantastic. So it's really uh, very interesting from testing from DALI and uh, changing to Mint Journey. Mint Journey, it do give us a lot of like, yeah. when you prompt something, it came out with some very nice image with more like imagination. Yeah, and it's improving very fast. Yeah. And uh, how do you incorporate AI into your creative process? Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, approaching my artwork with AI is like, uh, embarking on a creative journey, uh, mm-hmm. literally. And it usually begins with a spark, whether mm, it's a keyword, reference images of just a conceptual idea. Uh, I like to immerse myself in the essence of the concept, uh, understanding the nuances of the products or images and the communication goals associated with them. The process kicks off with uh, a detailed study, and then I articulate my vision into a coincidence text like uh, I'm doing actually in uh, my profile uh, on Instagram. You can see my mm-hmm. uh, static yeah. I create called Dystopia. So I really mm-hmm. like to tell the story with my artworks. And uh, now this is where the magic with AI happens. Uh, I use this text as prompt. And sometimes I even seek a bit of assistance from ChatGPT uh, yeah. to find two languages and ensure the prompt captures the essence perfectly. Um, the testing phase follows, and while there are instances where the right prompt is the mark on the first try, I always emphasize that with AI, it's a matter of experimentation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love exploring different generations of outputs uh, and refining and adjusting until I achieve results that aligns closely with my creative vision. And then, of course, um, 
I can use a bit of post production with, uh, if needed, with Photoshop, generative AI, Lightroom, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool. So you're also coming from a very professional fashion background. So what yeah. are the advantage and challenge that you see using AI in fashion creation? Yeah, uh, the intersection between AI and fashion uh, is truly remarkable and captivating. Uh, fashion design <clears throat> and arena intricately uh, tied to visual aesthetics and the tactile nuances of materials introduces a complexity that current AI struggles to fully grasp, you know, because uh, we're talking about fabrics and how to fit them, yeah. specifically in fashion. So uh, captivating images uh, are not enough, maybe, but we're talking for now. And uh, I think that mm, this evolving narrative digital fashion mm-hmm. especially emerges as a particularly uh, exciting dimension. And the boundless possibilities of the digital realm provide a canvas for AI to shine, exploring avant-garde design and challenging traditional notions of wearability. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Digital fashion also, from AI, you transfer your idea very quickly by using all the tools, then you transform into 3D modeling and uh, wear them, produce them in reality. That's the connection between the whole pipeline. So, in your opinion, how do you think like use of AI in fashion will involve and develop in the future? Okay, uh, allora, <laughs> while, uh, the, <laughs> while the potential of AI in fashion creation is vast and promising, it comes with its set of advantages and challenges, of course, mm-hmm. as everything. The advantages lie in the realm of creativity and efficiency. Uh, AI has the ability to generate innovative design, offering fresh mm-hmm. perspective that might not be immediately apparent to human designers. And the iterative nature of AI allows to rapid exploration and experimentation. However, challenges persist, especially in replicate the tactile, as I was saying before, aspect of fashion, the intricate mm-hmm. understanding of materials, textures, fabrics, and how they interact with the human body poses. Uh, it's a bit hard for AI. But the current limitation is simulating these tactile elements under the seamless integration of AI into certain aspects of the fashion creating process. And I think that as we gaze into the future, the evolution of AI in fashion mm-hmm. holds an immense potential. And I think that you agree with that. Yeah. And the trajectory suggests a progression towards more sophisticated simul- simulations and realistic material representation, I mean. Uh, mm-hmm. Like imagine a scenario where AI not only generates visually stunning designs, but yeah. also replicate the feel and the drape of fabrics with astonishing accuracy. Like not only the image, but you can, uh, from the image, you can create the pattern, the seeing pattern to create the, the dress. I think that that's where uh, mm-hmm. AI and fashion should go. Mm-hmm. You mean when you are generating a picture, it can also... the make the pattern making of that dress that can be producible in the uh, yeah, it's, it's, in the real life that, that that's the point making wow. its products it has to yeah. be a product not only a, a captivating image mm-hmm. yes this i agree because there are a lot of also ai open call like fancy you know with like more imagination runway pictures but they're not really like a producible before we have a guest christopher he's saying yes they are beautiful artworks but it's not like a producible and it cannot be put into a real fashion show so it yeah. just exists like a, an image yeah exactly. that's also, that's exactly. also a very important point so yeah also like recently with AI me and uh, we have an open call together with barish so creating a series of the totally designed by AI, then turning to the real fashion show. So all the materials and all the patterns that we get is AI generated, then put into the runway show. So how do you think about this kind of campaign? Totally amazing. Uh, I, I want to do that in my, in my future. I, I really hope that I will, uh, mm-hmm. because what a what ai creates the outputs are totally amazing and imagining it on a real 
runway. It's mm-hmm. totally awesome. Yes, Egevious uh, and uh, Jen, we are working on a project called Global Digital Pride Milano. So make the open core and submit the work together and showing case in the Milan in front of Duomo, also in Porta Venezia. It's an LGBTQ uh, supported district area. So can you tell us more about your artwork and what is the concept behind it? It's really beautiful. Yeah, thank you. And thanks uh, also for inviting me to participate to that event. Mm-hmm. Uh, the images I've created want to share something about more, uh, like, you know, it's not only about inclusivity, but it's about uh, connecting the, the world of AI with a, a more uh, friendly future. Mm-hmm. Because I think that AI made us rethink a lot uh, about who we are. And so it's the best moment uh, to rethink on ourselves and our relationship with others. Mm-hmm. And so it, what, what my artists want, want to communicate is, is that, you know, uh, rethink about what we are and what others are, because it's not a, just a matter of uh, uh, objects or people. It's about connection. Life mm-hmm. is about connection. Yeah. I totally agree. So um, also one more question. Do you think like in the future, AI will replace us? Because before it's like, you know, everyone thinking like a creative job, um, AI can like, nobody can replace this. But now we can see more and more AI, they are learning, they are being creative. Yeah. So what do yeah. you think on this? But I'm not scared, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, AI is not there to steal our job. Mm-hmm. First of all, because from the ancient times, uh, the principal job of humans was to, and we forget this, we totally forget this, to work less. No? And AI is helping us on, on yes. that. And mm-hmm. so why are we scared? I, I can I can understand because uh, you don't know what to do next, maybe because if you lost your job, because an AI can do that like, uh, mm-hmm. One of my friends lost his, her job because of uh, ChatGPT because she is a copywriter and now mm-hmm. the agency is using ChatGPT instead of her because it's more cheap, of course. But mm-hmm. it's about how you sell yourself and you communicate, like it always been. Uh, if there is AI, so learn how to use AI. And if AI will replace us, okay, so let's learn how to develop AI. Uh, you know, I'm not scared about this because I love technology. I love innovation. And I think that uh, if you fear them, you will be beat by them. But if you embrace it, you will be you will be fine. Yeah. And we will find a way. It, maybe it's more like um, not replace, but also like collaborate to make, exactly. like you said, more productively or work less, or we can be another like more creative because AI is also learning from us, but our creation, that's very important. Like this is yeah. um, right now, I, I can say also, right now they cannot replace. Exactly. And also that's a really great point because uh, AI is trained on our perceptions of the world, yeah. human perceptions. We don't have to forget that. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's very important. Okay, can you also share with us your works and the projects that you are working of on? Course. Yeah. Yes. I'm perfect. Yeah. Great. Sure. Thank you. Okay, I start with mm, my most recent project called Istovia, and it's what I'm trying to mm, create, like an uh, imagine imaginarium, like an aesthetic uh, from a post glacial age. Uh, era Mm -hmm. and these are images I created using uh, different kind of AI from refabric AI to stable diffusion uh, for this is a a browser that uses stable diffusion it's called illusion diffusion I think it's very cool the the output of the the illusion of the images Mm -hmm. and uh, I'm using a lot uh, refabric especially for work inquiries because it's very realistic and it's the, the result of the fabrics is more realistic and less like uh, digital and experimental. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
uh, I stopped. I, I, I was, uh, as I was saying, is mm, more anesthetic, and this this futuristic world where uh, uh, a glacial age is the planet Earth, and we have to face with it. And so that's the aesthetic. These are the color palette. This is a Venice I've reimagined it, uh, hit by ice. And mm -hmm. these are some products I've imagined it for Ice Topia. Oh, that's very beautiful. Thank you. And uh, after Ice Topia, before Ice Topia, uh, these are some of my most uh, popular creations with AI from mm -hmm. Sailor Moon to Dior, Sailor Moon IKEA that I've shared on my TikTok, reaching more than 1 million views. Wow. And this is uh, generated with Musavir and uh, Mid Journey. Mm -hmm. cool. Then this is the, there, are, there is the uh, Deserto concept collection that I generated from the uh, concept of uh, this brand called Deserto that sell uh, vegan fabrics, vegan mm -hmm. leather fab fabrics made from cactus. It's very interesting. And I hope that one day I will use their, their fabrics for something real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they're this the sustainable is for, yeah sustainable is a, brand. Exactly. The, mm -hmm. the sustainable is what we have to I think that that's the main role of a designer to introduce yeah. sustainable process process. Mm -hmm. And then some other of my creation from the Healing Crystal Bear, Nike Prefer Jacket. This was, this is all generated with mid journey, the V.4, I think. Mm -hmm. Then we got some footwear design, digital fashion, and some concept about dystopia that I love. Uh, and at the end, uh, one image I use for a trailer I, I generated using AI and I submit on Wirestock mm -hmm. and I won a prize. <laughs> wow, congratulations. This is feature. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. That's all. These are my Yeah, sessions. yeah. Sure, please share. Um, we also put uh, some of your works. So if everyone that interesting in your works, you can also see on our screen uh, or the contact with Jen. And also you, we can, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's so nice to have you here to be our guest. And I know you are also a speaker for Gen AI. So yeah. do you have something that you really want to share with our, our audience about like, what do you think like um, your suggestion for AI users or some tips and thing you want, uh, you want to share? <laughs> the most difficult thing about working with AI mm -hmm. is to don't lose yourself because AI are uh, really everywhere and they, you know, they, they comes out every day, like hundreds of AI, new tools, new uh, updated and stay behind the stuff is pretty challenging. And so uh, remember that you are the artist, you are the, mm -hmm. the director and those are our assistant. So don't lose yourself. Mm -hmm. but uh, don't underestimate their values too. Wow. Yeah, that's very insight, very thoughtful. Yeah, thank you for sharing. And also I want to ask an extra question. So do you also mint for NFT for your collections? Not actually, but uh, I would really like to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm looking for someone who, who, with who I can work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, cool, pretty cool. Thank you so much for uh, having you, you in our episode. It's really nice to see all of your beautiful works, and you're really creative and uh, have a very strong um, background from the fashion. So that's why you know how everything, like the fabric, the works, and how the model should be. So thank you for sharing all the beautiful content with us, and it's really nice to have you as our guest. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you for this invitation. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, okay. So we see each other in the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone, for watching our episode. Who will be our guest? Let's guess. Subscribe our channel and see you in the next episode.